Nicola, I promise to be your friend and partner and to walk with you every day. To love you with all that I am. To support you, respect you and share our life together. Through joy and sadness, um, laughter and tears, and I think it's a bit missing at the end. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So enjoy sadness, <laughs> laughter and tears, and to be together um, every day for the rest of our lives. Thank you. I love you with all my heart, and I promise to be by your side always, to share the joy and laughter as well as the peace and companionship of being together. I will be there to support you through both the good times and the bad times. I will be your partner, your best friend, and your soulmate. Always and finally we have one more vow and this one is particularly special so Callum can you come up and stand with your mummy and daddy for a minute Nicola and Sam will you love Callum unconditionally Will you listen to him and find out what interests him? And as he grows up, will you support his decisions even when you don't understand them? Will you give him the freedom to make mistakes and always be there to help him put things right? And will you encourage him to be all that he can be? Neither. Thank you very much. You can go into Spider-Man now. <laughs> <laughs> So Sam, could you take Nicola's wedding ring first? I'm placing it at the tip of the third finger on the left hand, repeat after me. I sincerely declare I sincerely declare that I, Sam, accept you, Nicola, in marriage that I, Sam, accept you, Nicola, in marriage as my lawfully wedded wife as my lawfully wedded wife. Thank you. And Nicola, please take Sam's ring and placing it at the tip of the third finger on the left hand, repeat after me. I sincerely declare I sincerely declare that I, Nicola, that I Except you, Sam, in marriage. Except you, Sam, in marriage. As my lawfully wedded husband. As my lawfully wedded husband. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola and Sam, your wedding rings will stand as the permanent reminder of the vows that you've exchanged today and the lasting symbol of your commitment to each other. And so, by virtue of the declarations you have made in my presence and those of your family, your friends and your witnesses, I have the utterly splendid job to declare that you are married and pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah! As I give to you, Nicola and Sam, the brand new husband and wife. This isn't maybe, this is always. The real beginning of a forever. This isn't just a summer madness or a passing glow or a moment's gladness. This is love. We knew it on the night we met with strings tied round our hearts. How could we forget? With every look and every kiss.
I can't thank you enough for your thoughtfulness, your patience, your incredible memory, which is very useful. <laughs> is that a really? <laughs> and your love for me, your son, and your family and friends. Thank you. And just to finish, relationships aren't always about Hollywood moments. They're not always about the big things. They're about the Sunday mornings in bed. <laughs> We've closed. <laughs> Not that many, but we've got kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're about little shared jokes or glances. They're about the ups and downs of being there for each other no matter what. And that's what I promise you. And as I said earlier today in my vows, through joy and sadness, laughter and tears, and to have you as my wife. <laughs> In my life, for every day in my life. It's a special day for us, for, for the whole family, for me and my family. Um, and everybody knows, anybody that knows Nicola, she knows she's, she's got a beautiful heart. And she's not just beautiful insight, she's beautiful insight. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get Right. But she's a great person. She'll, she'll help anybody. She'll, she'll go away to help people. If you've been anything at all, pick up the phone, that's what's there for you. And a lot of people hear more than that, I think. Um, so I'd like you to thank her for that. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie friends as well. She's ready to get a loyal to her friends and her family. Um, and it's definitely something that does hit you whenever you're there. And I remember thinking it's a perfect environment for a child to grow up in. And it's no surprise that Callum, who looks stunning in his little coat today, I think we can all agree on that one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's no surprise that he's turned into the happy, intelligent little guy that he is today. There's four people that cannot be here today, which breaks my heart, and I'd just like to take a wee minute to just thank them. I've got my granny and granddad here, who's my, my dad's parents, who taught me a lot. My granddad here taught me how to good laugh. My granny taught me how to show up and hide it in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> but I would just, just as a kid, you <laughs> She did, she did. <laughs> she never let that one slip. Could be lying in the cupboards. Um, they were tremendous people, and I learned a lot from them. Loads of love. And then I've got my granny Sam and my granddad Sam. I learned all my morals from my granda, my granda Sam. He taught me right from wrong, and I miss him every single day. And then my granny Sam, she taught me kindness. She taught me to be good and be a, just be a good human. And I'd just like to take a wee minute to raise a glass to, to my grandparents. Yeah, grandparents. Gone, but not forgotten. Grandparents. So thank you. Yeah.